discover that our experiments have stopped being productive, let us pivot to a new fundamental strategy that could allow us to do better experiments. That's what a pivot is. I was groping around for a way to describe a phenomenon that I kept seeing in the startups I was working with. So I wrote a blog post. I mean, the blog post, it wasn't like coining the term pivot. It just said, pivot, don't jump to a new vision. Now I'm good at encapsulating it crisply. A pivot is a change in strategy without a change in vision. I show in my slides now a, a cartoon I saw, I kid you not, in the New Yorker magazine. There's a man and a woman sitting in an outdoor cafe and the caption below says, I'm not leaving you, I'm pivoting to another man. <laughs> so the word pivot is probably my most notorious contribution to the, the startup vernacular. Here's the critical thing you gotta understand about the pivot. It's really very simple. You get in your car, you don't boot up your GPS and say, GPS, where do I wanna go? It doesn't know, it's just a robot. It helps you get where you wanna go. So the vision is the destination you have in mind. But if you run into an obstacle, you don't just drive your car into the obstacle over and over again in the hopes that it will be fine. You, with the help of your GPS, find a way around. Okay, very simple. Startups that succeed all do that really well. They start out with an idea that sounds good but turns out to be terrible. YouTube started out as a dating site and they, only after people were starting to upload all kinds of video did they make the pivot to a video site. Flickr was an online video game. One of the things you could do in the online game was upload photos. And since that's the only thing players actually did, they said, hey, man, don't we make it, we call it a zoom in pivot, where you take one part of the product and you make the whole product, you shrink it down to just that one thing. You make the world's best photo uploading service, even though you meant to make an online game. First version of Twitter was this thing called Odeo, which is a podcasting service. When they made the pivot to Twitter, it only had a few hundred customers, so the so-called vanity metrics were so low, they actually went to their investors and said, we're so embarrassed about these results, would you like your money back? And several of Silicon Valley's best investors made what is now a billion dollar mistake of saying yes, thank you. If you look at PayPal, which is about like digital cyber cash on your PDA, you're like, boy, what kind of visionary is that? But they had the vision for online payments in some form, they just didn't know exactly what it was gonna look like. Let's talk about Groupon, because it's one of my favorites. Groupon started out as a business called The Point which was designed to help people do petitions. So imagine that you're like, okay, I wanna do a protest at City Hall, I'm mad about something. I don't wanna be the only person who shows up, so we have a petition where if 100 people sign up and say we'll all go to the protest, it tips and we all do it. If we never get to 100, it doesn't tip. Great idea, right? Wrong. They got no traction at all, it was a disaster, it didn't work. So they're like, okay, we gotta try something new. They decided to try the social commerce thing. Social commerce is about creating coupons where we all get a discount if we all buy at the same time. I think it was two for one pizza in the pizza restaurant in the lobby of their building. Okay, that was the breakthrough technology. 20 people redeemed it. Now, I don't know about you. If I had been there, I would have known. Oh, obviously, 20 free pizzas equals fastest company in history to get a billion dollars in sales. But most of us, let's be honest, we would not have known. 20 free pizzas, whatever. The reason the Groupon founders understood the power of selling 20 free pizzas is that they had failed for a year to get anybody to buy anything at all. That actually made them excited enough to try the next experiment and the next and the next and the next. That's what a pivot is. It is redeeming the failure because we learn so much about what's possible. That's the name of the game, that's what this is about.